Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a problem that I'm going to share with you guys in case you guys ever run into the same problem, then you'll know that you have a solution. The problem is the drain located behind it is being a little bit so by that I mean that it's not draining uh, correctly, meaning it's it's somewhat clogged and at some point it's causing an overflow of water and that's not a good thing, right? So we're going to try to fix that. But before I get there, I want to show you the tool I'm going to use and I'm also going to show you how I'm going to use it so that when I'm doing it you're not confused, okay? So let's head on outside so I can show you how that So happens. this apparatus I'm holding is a six foot snake auger. Um, I borrowed this from my friend, but you can get this at, you know, a store or online. Uh, basically, this one that I'm holding is typically used for a toilet bowl, and um, because I don't have the one that's for the washing machine, I'm going to use it anyway, and hopefully that solves my problem. So I'm going to show you how to use this. So you're going to reel crank this uh, clockwise in order to release the snake. Boy, it's stuck there. And then... Once you get the snake out a little bit, really all you gotta do is push this down. But if you wanna, you know, agitate it, you can, as you push down, you wanna turn it. Now you can see where it gets its name, right? It looks like a snake. And if you want it back, you can either agitate it again, but ultimately the goal is to just yank it up like that and hopefully get all that gunk out. So let's go try it out. Okay guys, so I filled this up with some water so I can show you the problem, which is the drainage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on spin so that the wastewater is gonna be drained out. So I'm gonna put it on spin. You can hear this back here if you come close. Hopefully you can hear it. Um, I'm gonna try to stop it right before it overflows so that I don't have to clean up all of that mess here. I see it, I see it, hopefully you see it too. Ouch, I just hit my head. <laughs> I just hit my head trying to like stop it. Anyway, so you can see that problem. Um, so yeah, basically uh, this uh, U-tube, see what I did there? This U-shaped tube is what, you know, gets rid of your wastewater. And uh, so now I'm gonna remove that, put it down on the ground, and then I'm gonna get my auger snake put that baby in there okay guys so I'm ready to run this through the drain pipe one more time I already did it once uh, but a quick tip for you guys is to leave the snake out just about that much doesn't matter but just a little bit leave it out because that will give you the ability the ability to um, once you have it in there just push it straight down in there and it'll be easier versus trying to like crank it down in there but anyway let's give this baby a try and what I'm going to do is shove it right in there so uh, she's fully extended. And so as I bring her back up, I'm going to reel it and then come up and push out like that. Pull it up. Again, nothing came out, but uh, just got some, some of this gunk, if you'll see that. Uh, so that's what's, uh, you know, making the drainage really slow. I'm going to do this uh, maybe two more times, and then I'm going to give the washer another drain run, and hopefully that solved the problem. And, you know, I've already filled this up with water again, and I'm going to drain it by putting it on spin. And uh, don't forget to put the YouTube back in there because you don't want the water to go all over the place. So, all right, let's 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 start this baby. I'm gonna keep an eye on it in case it, you know, it's gonna overflow again. Doesn't sound too good, sounds the same. But, uh, we'll see. I see it coming back up, so. Well, there's no solution. <laughs> I mean, at least that, I, I kind of had a feeling 
that the fact that the snake was only roughly around three feet uh, long was going to be the problem. Uh, so I'm going to have to try something else, guys. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, once I figure out what's going to really unclog this, I'll make sure to let you guys know. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Have a good one.